guys, so this is going to be my April favorites video. I have a couple of makeup things to mention, and then I have a few non-beauty things I'm going to mention. So I'm just going to get started. The first thing is going to be an eyeshadow base, and that is my NYX eyeshadow base in the uh, nude shade, I guess you could call it. This is it right here. I really like how this holds eyeshadow. It works really good. And it's like a MAC paint pot, which eventually I want to try one, but i got to get through some of these eyeshadow bases. I have like, three of them, so I really need to use them up first. The next thing is a lipstick. And when I was in New York City, I went to the MAC store that was near Union Square, I think. I'm not really sure. But um, a makeup artist applied this on me, and I decided to buy it because it just looks so pretty. And it is the MAC lipstick in syrup. Syrup, whatever you want to say. And that is the color. As you can see, it's a very nice pinky nude. I'll swatch it on my hand. That is the color. It might not show up good because I'm using artificial lighting, but it's very nice and it looks great on my lips because my lips are so pigmented. So I need kind of darker lipsticks, I guess you could say, but yeah. The next thing are two mascaras. I have been layering mascaras just like everybody else on YouTube has been lately, and I have been doing this mascara on my bottom lashes, my Voluminous Million Lashes. I did a review on this a while ago in a demo, but I'll just show you the wand anyway. A lot of people don't like it because it's wiggly. Like, see how it wiggles when you do that? Um, I think that actually is a benefit because it helps make your lashes um, more voluminized as this mascara is supposed to do, so I really like that effect. And then on top of that, I've been putting my L'Oreal Voluminous Hydro... Oh, that's the French word. <laughs> my Voluminous Waterproof. <laughs> Sorry, I had a brain fart there for a second. And this just has the usual, the fiberish wand, I guess you call it. Um, I prefer these type of wands better than the plasticky ones. And I really like layering the mascaras together because... The waterproof holds it in place, and then this holds the curl, so it's kind of a two-for-two two deal. Next product is a face product, and that is my U Rebel Light, right here. Uh, I got this when I was in New York City, and I've been applying it, not every day, but usually when I go to school I wear this, but school's almost over, so, so I won't be wearing it as much all summer because I'm going to be working a lot, so I don't wear out of makeup when I work usually just because it's, I don't know. But this is great because it has SPF 15 and it evens out my skin tone and it also gets rid of some of the redness on my face. And I'm probably going to do an updated foundation routine or an, a foundation routine at some point using this because I just love it so much. The only downside to it is because I'm so pale, it'll make me look orange if I apply too much or I don't blend it out enough. So I need to get a better foundation brush because I have one that I got at Sephora but it's not very good at blending so I need to get like a big fluffy brush or something the next time I go. And the final makeup item I'm going to mention is my Hello Flawless by Benefit. It's a powder. Um, I've had this for a while now so there's I put a, quite a dent in it if you can see. There we go. Uh, I am in the shade Champagne and this also has SPF 15. And I use this over the tinted moisturizer to set it, but I'm looking for more of a translucent powder. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. I don't mind using drugstore products if they work. I just saw, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce her username, Kylie de Beauty 08. I just saw her foundation routine, and she used a CoverGirl one, and it made her look awesome. So if you have any other recommendations, uh, please let me know. Comment below. So now I'm just going to talk about non-beauty favorites. And the first is an accessory, and that would be my fossil watch. I've been wiring this a lot lately. Uh, a white watch is a great accessory to have for the spring or any time of the year. It just adds a nice, um, it's just nice to wear. <laughs> I didn't know what I was trying to say there. The next thing I'm going to mention, which I should have done with my makeup stuff, is nail polish. And I've been into green nail polishes so much this month. This one is a Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Hard as Nails, and I'm wearing it now, but you probably can't see it. It's really light and shimmery. And you can see it in the light, but it's really hard to get it to show up on camera. And this is in the shade Limelights. And I've had this bottle forever. Like, for years I've had this. And it's still just as good quality as when I first got it. So, my non-beauty favorites are going to include some music. And the first would be Lenka's album 2 that just came out a week or two ago. Um, if you've never heard her music before, she's got this really unique style. And she's also from Australia, which is really cool. So, 
she's got a really just her her voice is really cool so I totally recommend you check it out if you want a specific song to listen song to listen to listen to my heart skips a beat there's also a music video for that so check it out too it's pretty cool and then other music I've been into is Adele like I said last month the song somebody someone like you is just ugh, it's amazing so if you haven't listened to that go for it and then movies um, we just got Netflix like a full version and well, this was not Netflix. I just wanted to share that with you. Though. We just got Netflix, but we um, I just went and saw the movie Rio last week with my little brother, and it is adorable. Like, a lot of people are like, "Oh, it's not that funny. It's not that good." I'm a big Pixar nerd when it comes to movies. Uh, my favorite movie is Ratatouille. If you've never heard of that one, that came out a couple years ago, but that's amazing. It was done so freaking well. It's awesome, and Rio was just as good. I loved Rio. I thought it was awesome. The birds and and the monkeys and everything. Oh, it's just so cute. There's a Rihanna song in it. And I just, I loved the movie. I totally recommend it. So I think that's all I'm going to do for my April favorites. Uh, if you want to do yours, post them as a video response or comment below. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!